Good morning. It's October the 30th, 2015, and time to kick off the last trading day of the week and the month. This tends to bring trading range markets. Uh, the institutional money managers are less inclined to be sellers on today, no matter which uh, complex they work, uh, especially on the stock side of it. Treasuries, interest rates, people... People are more focused when they're in fixed income on the check. They're not really too focused on the principal. And if you build a ladder of maturities, uh, then you kind of accommodate up and down markets through that ladder. A uh, lot less pressure on the uh, uh, fixed income money managers than there are on equity money managers. So here's where we start out. Uh, Globex last night went a tick below that. Why did they go a tick below that? The gun stops. Got them. Mission accomplished. Then they take the market up. The last rotate up yesterday it was in J period and G period right here. But J came after lunch and they got stops up here and then they the AM high right there in E that last rotate up before the low was came in. So we've got pretty good resistance in this 24 well, really 25 uh, up to as high as 28 and a half. This is, this is where resistance is. Here we got a P, but it's not the strongest because volume is below time. So the uh, sell zone is going to be 24, 28, give ourselves a little room, sell 1, then 31 to 03. Now, if we get some heavy selling in the E mini, we just, we really don't like the short side. I think we got a pretty good chance of um, the overnight session lows um, being pretty close to where support is. We've got all this volume down here, basically 11 to 14. So that's a, that's a pot potential attractor. Uh, we have to pay attention to that. So getting started, um, would like to buy the 13 to 17 area, but it may take a 20 to get in. Uh, we just have to see what happens. And we do have a round of news this morning. Personal income, up two-tenths. Everything on the personal income, spending and core, is up two-tenths. Then we have uh, employment cost index, up six-tenths. And I, it, it's hard for me to see it being that high, you know, with this robust job market that we keep getting. Chicago PMI, which is the uh, surrogate for the automobile sector, which has they've been pumping at the sales. But I mean, I don't I don't turn on a sporting event when we get the local automobile advertising where they're not showing on trucks ten to twelve thousand dollars worth of discounts. So uh, they're they're moving the goodies with subprime loans and the rest of it and lower prices. Uh, Still pumping out as long as it's over 16 million per year on an annualized on an annual basis. If the, the industry is more than healthy, and the consumer sentiment uh, at 92.5. So personal spending up two tenths will be the focus. Then Chicago PMI, then consumer spending, and the E-mini's reaction to such. Um, so I, I like the long side of the market today after we get through the uh, first test of support this morning uh, just because it's end of the weekend of the month and the market was heavily sold yesterday. And if the E-mini can sell, the long side looks even better. As usual yesterday, the, uh, the action was in the puts uh, as the market moved lower. And... Uh, as people come in and buy puts, the market makers have to sell futures to lock that position up, to spread that uh, risk position out, which is what they do. Uh, they lock in the um, uh, time value when they do that as opposed on the assumption that nothing else changes, and that's not always true. Uh, options are tough. It's a tough market. It's tough for the market makers. Uh, not so much for the buyers, but uh, that old saying, sometimes you have to, well, most of the time you have to trade options three times to be right once really is true because it's timing and direction and uh, getting the timing is uh, makes it a little more difficult. Okay, 
top of value 7, D period high at 9, Globex high at 11. So, and we got volume at 5. So 7 to 11 will be cell 1. Uh, if we get through that, 23 to 27 will be cell 2. On the buy side, um, we got some pretty good support down here in the uh, 24 area uh, to 28, so 21 to 25, buy 1. And then buy 2 will be 9 to 13. I, d I just don't think they can whack it today like they did yesterday. We usually get a pause day after that kind of selling. And we'll see if that's the case today. I'm not afraid to get long treasuries. Now, that's my opinion. And the way that you, without screwing up your trading, when my opinion is wrong, is that if my opinion supports the market activity, what you see, then it reinforces the trade. If you don't see what my opinion is, um, then the other side of the market really becomes very, very attractive because uh, my analysis is usually pretty darn good and when I'm wrong, it, just, it really opens up the other side of the market. I'm not right all the time. I hate that and I'm working on it. You know that, but uh, that is a fact of life. Okay, gold, 45.47 was an area that we did like yesterday uh, and in the overnight session. So we'll make 45. 40 to 45 buy our buy zone one and two. On the sell side, you got 50, 50, 52. Maybe as low as 49 and 55, 57. And end of the week, end of the month, if we don't break it early, short covering uh, should favor the long side of the market. Hey, I might have to turn my furnace on for the first time this year tonight. Look, calling for highs today in the low 50s, so. And below 40 again overnight. Then we're, we're supposed to be back in the 70s next week, so. The wind is from the north today, and then early next week the wind will switch back to the south. Don't think anybody will complain about that. Okay, looking at the euro, Japan left its uh, interest rate policy unchanged. Uh, people were hoping that Japan would step up to the plate. Europe has already told us that they're going to do it in December. So the um, money went in to uh, the euro in the overnight. So, and again, it's kind of every other day. The dollar's up, the dollar's down. The euro's up, the down. But the long-term desire of the European Central Bank is for lower prices. So this 25 to 35 area is cell 1, picking up this area right in there. Uh, 40 is a high volume number. And then uh, 50 to 60 will be cell 2. Pretty aggressive on the short side of the market, but it looks like to me we've got a pretty good chance to kind of backfill from the 1025, 1050 area. On the buy side, uh, 975 buy one, 950 buy two. And uh, you know, the buy might be at 10. I don't know this morning. We'll put a question mark at 10. So 75 to 10. And that probably a little bit better support when we scratch that and make buy one, 110. By two nine seventy five. We'll see how it plays. Again, you trade what you see. Not what you believe. If what you believe and what you see are the same, it is a stronger trade. And um, I remember when I first got going, my other people's opinion, they wouldn't make me trade, but they would stop me from taking my own trades. And then after missing hundreds of trades because of that, I just learned to 
kind of compartmentalize it if it uh, fit my opinion my opinion was so much the stronger if it didn't fit my opinion my opinion wasn't necessarily wrong but um, I'd, I'd wait for a, a better setup okay crude's rejecting prices above 46.50 so 46.50 75 sell one 47 47 and a quarter sell two on the buy side we've got volume down here at 45 75 to 45 35 so we'll make 50 to 75 buy one and uh, then 45 44 75 buy two allowing to get stops below yesterday's lows and <coughs> we've rallied pretty uh, into the um, end of the week end of the month so maybe a little profit taking today if that is the case we should see that selling early and 45 is the best support it's a pretty round number okay the ES rallied overnight uh, from yesterday's action again sure non fundamentals the only idea is that things are softening up quick enough that the Fed can't raise interest rates and we talked about if 75 became support we should get to the 95 area and we'd uh, <coughs> right there's your high volume number at 94 did not go for stops above 95 so we're in the same situation that we were um, yesterday uh, as long as 75 holds this market can trade higher and I, I think we're there today so uh, maybe stops below the overnight session we've got all this volume down here at 80 so 75 to 80 by one on the uh, sell side 90 to 95 sell one and 2100 2105 sell two and then 65 to 70 by two so because of the the rally and what I would consider a gift based on fundamentals and the rest of it, the short squeeze, uh, we might see some profit taking today. Uh, and if it's going to be there, it should be early in the session. If it comes late in the session, I'm pretty confident that the 75-80 area will hold up pretty, pretty well. And it's going to take a bit to get everything up, published, posted. I'm going to get busy on that. I will see you as soon as possible in a bit.